Lewis on Chevrolet for 1967. Here's the car with bold, exciting styling, interior luxury and comfort, and jet-smooth performance. From the dramatic sweep of the Impala Sport Coupe roofline to the dynamic thrust of the front fenders, the bold, exciting styling commands a second look. So, focus on the new styling all around the car. The fresh new appearance begins up front, where bright front fender wraparounds extend the sweeping grille and accent the high-style fender line. A deep section bumper with recessed parking lights and turn signals protects the distinctive new grille. The new rear panel, deck lid, and deep section bumper highlight the crisp, clean rear appearance on all models. Each series has individualized taillight treatment. Heading the 1967 Chevrolet line is the Caprice series with a custom sedan, custom coupe, and custom wagon. Featured in this series are front fender lights housed in the forward fender edges. These lights, optional on other series, operate when the parking lights or headlights are on. Notice the wheel opening moldings, body side moldings, and Caprice roof line set off by an emblem and nameplate on the sail area. Black paint filled trim plate and Caprice taillight treatment are other styling refinements. Custom sedan and custom coupe models also feature dual paint stripes. The Caprice two-seat and three-seat custom wagons feature the look of rich wood grain panels framed by bright metal moldings on the front fenders, body sides, and tailgate. A Caprice nameplate is located above the triple taillight cluster, while the backup lights are set into the rear bumper. For a full-size car with sports car flair, the Impala Super Sport Coupe and convertible more than meet the growing demand. The Sport Coupe has new roof styling. The Impala Super Sport series is distinguished by a black paint-trimmed grille, Super Sport nameplate, and wheel trim cover. Both Impala Super Sport models have wheel opening moldings, body seal molding, and rear quarter molding, accenting the sculptured fender line. Black paint-filled areas highlight the lower portion of the rear deck and the light cove areas. For models equipped with the SS427 package, there's a special hood with brushed chrome center ornamentation along with SS427 grill, fender, and deck lid emblems. The regular Impala series offers the sport coupe, sport sedan, four-door sedan, and convertible models. The Impala Sport Coupe shares the flow-back roof line of the Impala Super Sport Coupe, while the sport sedan has its own distinctive roof styling. The four-door sedan model has bright door frame and pillar moldings. Distinguishing features of the Impala profile include a body side molding and nameplate and emblem on the rear quarter panel. All Impalas have backup lights centered between dual taillights. The light cluster is trimmed in bright metal. The Impala two-seat and three-seat station wagons, door and pillar moldings and tailgate trim are styling highlights. Next, the Bel Air series with two- and four-door sedans and station wagons. These models share the styling changes of the Chevrolet line and feature a slender molding extending the full length of the car. The roof drip gutter is also trimmed in bright metal, as are the front fender grille wraparounds. In the rear, the slender molding extends across the deck lid and along the top of the taillights. The Biscayne series offers a two-door sedan, four-door sedan, and a four-door two-seat station wagon. Bright metal moldings frame the windshield and rear window, while new nameplates, emblems, and hubcaps further distinguish each series. The finishing touch to the 1967 line of Chevrolets is a choice of 15 Magic Mirror acrylic lacquer exterior colors, including 11 new ones for 67. And to complement these lustrous colors, on all hardtop body styles, two vinyl top covers are available, in black or fawn. 1967 Chevrolet convertibles offer three top colors, including a new blue top, in addition to black and white. Let's review styling differences of the new Chevrolets. First, front-end styling. The Caprice front appearance is set off by lights in the outer edge of the front fender. The Impala Super Sport models are distinguished by the black grill treatment. From the side, Caprice has a distinctive profile and the Impala Super Sport and Impala Sport Coupes share the new flow-back roof styling, while the Impala Sport Sedan has its own individual roof design. Other two- and four-door sedans feature new rear window styling, along with molding, trim, and emblem differences for each series. 
An individualized rear appearance for each series is achieved through distinctive taillight treatments. These trim, emblem, and styling differences, front, side, and rear, give Chevrolet five distinctive series for 1967. We've focused on the bold, exciting styling. Now let's focus on the interior luxury and comfort. The emphasis is on rich new luxury with a new instrument panel design, new trim styling, and brilliant new vinyl and cloth fabrics and colors. The stylish, convenience-designed instrument panel contributes to more relaxed driving. There are easy-to-read dials and easy-to-reach controls. The new seven-housing instrument cluster on all models includes a fuel gauge, speedometer, parking brake and brake system warning light, and the oil, temperature, generator, and turn signal lights. In addition, Impala, Impala Super Sport, and Caprice models have an electric clock. The optional instrument cluster, available with V8 models, contains fuel, oil, and temperature gauges, an ammeter, full-size tachometer and speedometer, and brake system and parking brake warning light and turn signal lights. New vinyl and fabric upholstery combinations in a wide choice of fashionable colors and patterns are available. The Caprice series has a distinctively styled instrument panel with a look of fine wood grain in the lower trim panel and Caprice nameplate on the ashtray. An oval steering wheel is featured on Caprice, Impala, and Impala Super Sport. Caprice offers a variety of distinct front seat styles. In the custom sedan, the standard bench seat and the optional strato bench seat, both with folding armrest. In the custom coupe, the standard bench seat, the optional strato bench seat, or the optional strato bucket seat. Caprice custom wagons are available in one of five durable all vinyl interior colors. Headlinings are all vinyl and there is a vinyl-coated textured metal floor in the load area and vinyl-trimmed side panels. Deep twist carpeting is used on the passenger floor and is available as an extra cost option for the cargo area in Caprice and Impala wagons. Impala and Impala Super Sport instrument panels share the distinctive Caprice styling but with a brushed aluminum lower trim plate where simulated wood grain is featured on Caprice. Impala and Impala Super Sport name plates in the glove box area identify these series. A one-piece concave plastic lens covers the entire instrument cluster. The small telltale lights on the Impala, Impala Super Sport, and Caprice models are recessed and angled toward the driver. Interiors in the Impala Super Sport series offer a choice of the strato bucket or strato bench seats in five all vinyl colors. The strato bucket seat comes with a center floor console, while the strato bench seat is styled with individual backrests and pull-down center armrest in front. Impala models offer up to eight interior trim colors on the sport coupe and seven on the convertible. Bench seats are standard on all models. Side roof rail dome lamps are standard on all Chevrolet hardtops. All vinyl interiors are standard in the convertible and Impala station wagons. Four all vinyl trims are also offered on the sport coupe. An attractive new medallion and steering wheel ornamentation decorate the Bel Air and Biscayne series. Telltale lights are positioned near the surface of their individual housings. The Bel Air interior is available in any of four colors. Sedans have cloth and vinyl interiors. The Bel Air wagon has all vinyl, with black interior replacing the red offered last year. On Biscayne sedans, an all vinyl black interior and two cloth and vinyl interiors in fawn or blue are available. All vinyl interiors in fawn, blue, or black are available on the wagon. Yes, the 1967 Chevrolet is full of interior luxury and comfort. Next, let's focus on the jet's smooth performance. Superb engines, transmissions, and chassis deliver power the Chevrolet way with the accent on responsiveness, dependability, and economy. The engine star of the 1967 Chevrolet is the optional 427 cubic inch turbojet V8 delivering 385 horsepower. The four-barrel carburetor, hydraulic lifters, and high-lift can shaft are outstanding features. There are two other optional V8s with four-barrel carburetors, the 396 cubic inch turbo jet and the 327 cubic inch turbo fire. Both V8s are also equipped with hydraulic valve lifters and automatic choke. The 396 cubic inch engine delivers 325 horsepower and the 327 cubic inch V8 delivers 275 horsepower. 
The standard 250 cubic inch Turbo Thrift 6 has a single barrel carburetor, hydraulic valve lifters, and automatic choke. It delivers 155 horsepower. The base 283 cubic inch Turbo Fire V8 engine is equipped with two barrel carburetor, hydraulic valve lifters, and automatic choke. It develops 195 horsepower. Other improvements include a new 24-gallon fuel tank on all sedans, coupes, and convertibles, as well as station wagons. A new fuel gauge sending unit for more fuel gauge accuracy. And a more efficient radiator heat exchanger for automatic transmissions. In addition, Caprice models with automatic transmissions have a new tuned propeller shaft damper, adding to a smoother, quieter ride. Standard transmission for all 1967 models is the three-speed full synchromesh. Optional manual transmissions include a heavy-duty three-speed and a four-speed full synchromesh. An overdrive option is offered with the standard six-cylinder and base 283 cubic inch V8. Automatic transmission options include the two-speed power glide, available with all but the 427 cubic inch V8 and the three-speed turbo-hydromatic available with the 327, 396, and 427 cubic inch V8s. Positive traction is available as an option with all rear axle ratios. A new body frame mounting system using softer body mounts and rubber cushions results in superior isolation of road noise and vibration. Caprice models feature extra body insulation for quiet, comfortable riding befitting a luxury car. Rear suspension improvements result in smoother and quieter driveline operation. These improvements are the shortening of the upper control arms and relocation of the upper and lower control arm frame pivots. Repositioning of the steering linkage results in smoother braking, less tire wear, more responsive steering, and a reduction of steering effort of nearly 10%. Stopping power to match the 1967 Chevrolet performance is available with a new front wheel disc brake option. Special wheel trim rings and hubcaps mark the 1967 Chevrolet equipped with this option. Yes, Chevrolet for 1967 has bold, exciting styling, interior luxury and comfort, and jet-smooth performance. Every series and every model is full of owner benefits and selling advantages. So focus your selling sights on Chevrolet for 1967 for more sales and more earnings.